All right, you guys, welcome back uh, to another episode of Kerbal Space Program, Colonizing the Moon. Uh, been away for a couple days, apologize for that, but we'll get to it today. So while you guys were gone, I was also uh, doing a little experimenting, and I sent one other mission. This is the mission that we saw, uh, but uh, I sent another mission right behind it in case this one fails. So we'll see what happens here, and hopefully the game won't lag out and crash on me. It has a tendency to do that when I use this screen capture software. It's already lagging. Look at that. Uh, so we'll try our best here. Uh, see what happens. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. And uh, we'll just see. The reason why I'm doing it is because I'm trying to get my video card to see everything that's here so it doesn't have to keep loading again and you know it ends up crashing again. I learned that technique from playing a game called Second Life actually. So 3D world is a little bit strange. Alright, so here we go. Um, let's find out where we're at here. Okay, so there's our Moon encounter, and we'll speed that up here in just a second. I just want to say, in a, the the next episode that I'm going to put out, I want to try to create a uh, orbital jump platform where you put a platform in orbit anywhere, and uh, you have a jump drive that's attached to that and another spacecraft, and you can take an oversized craft, in fact, and jump straight to that other location uh, without even having to launch anything really it's kind of cheating but uh, it's an experiment I just want to try it and see how it works uh, if so I got a couple oversized crap I want to put in orbit and uh, especially I want to create a um, a railgun system where um, you know I have a little fighter aircraft fighter spacecraft uh, that is equipped with railguns and I go and see all this junk that's in my orbits here I want to go up there and blast them out of the sky. <laughs> so that's that's uh, another episode coming up too. So let's go ahead and speed this one up here and uh, let's make sure everything's okay. And we'll get on with this one here. So there we go. Whoa! Slow down there. Alright, it'll be coming up soon here. Also, hopefully I've got uh, the audio set right on this thing. I've been trying to fiddle with that so that you can hear both me and the game. I don't know how this is going to work out until after it's recorded, but uh, we'll get to it. Alright, there's my orbit. <coughs> so I've just been captured by uh, the sphere of influence of the moon. Of the moon. <laughs> and I'm going to set a maneuver here. Oops, which will uh, bring me into orbit around the moon. And then I can go ahead and attempt to land this, this beast. That looks pretty good. And so we go back here and turn on our RCS so we can move. That's to be turn on our RCS so we can move. Hello. Turn on the RCS. Are you kidding me? Do I have any RCS fuel left? Yes, it says I do. Okay. Nothing is working. Oh, it's because I'm still... Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> I made that just in time. I was still in uh, fast forward motion there. Let's try this again here. Find my reticle. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. I forgot I was still in uh, time warp there.
And so we're gonna just get centered with that blue reticle there. Come on. Get in there. I don't know why I make it more difficult than it really has to be. All right, so now we just wait for our burn here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on pause until we get there, and then I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> I'm back. Okay, so all we got here is an orbit set up here. And then once I get an orbit here, I'm going to readjust everything. I want to get as close as I can to the guys that's already on the moon here. Uh, I don't have to be exact or perfect or anything since I will be driving once I land. So, uh, but I want to get as close to them as I can. So, we've got about 24 seconds before burn here. Actually, I'm going to start at about 15 seconds early. insertion burn. Here we go. Looks like I have plenty of fuel still. that turn out not bad not bad uh, I'm gonna go a little bit more right about there then wait till we get to the other side here but we're gonna speed it up uh, turn that off Dum -de -dum -de -dum. I can get rid of that. And once I get around here, I'll set a new course. Uh, I'll wait till I get here. I got two other satellites there in orbit. Try to get it in real close there. Just, just a bit. Okay, I think that's good. Thank you. 
All right, so we got two minutes. We got about five minutes left in the video here, and then uh, during this episode, I'm just going to get into orbit here, and then the next episode, I'll go ahead and land. My other guys are somewhere down in this area, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they'd be down. Yeah, down in there. Right by that big crater, I think. Yeah. They're right there. So. They're in this area here. So I'll catch up on them. Even if I have to drive all the way over to the other side of the moon. I'm wondering how this engine's gonna work to this Eagle. Vertical lift takeoff engine here. These little four things right here. They worked in the test flight, but I haven't landed on the moon yet with them. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm still debating on whether to use this engine back here when I disconnect, or these engines right here. This engine right here is mainly used for driving. I might use these. We'll see. Jeez, I've done pretty good too. I've got lots of fuel left. It's so peaceful in space, isn't it? It's beautiful. One minute to burn. I apologize if I don't talk much. I'm not much of a talker sometimes. I'm just kind of thinking about how I'm going to do this without burning up in a big ball of flame. This is totally non-rehearsed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Still plenty of fuel. Where'd that put us? Alright. Well, that's a pretty good orbit. Okay, so now we have to adjust laterally here. Uh, where am I at? I'm right there. So. Kill that node. 